Hey guys, welcome back. Today's day three of our Alabrije paper mache sculpture project. Um, some supplies you'll need today is newspaper, scissors, um, you'll need some tape, some cardboard, and it would be great to have a hot glue gun, but if you don't have that, normal school glue will be okay. Um, we will be adding on 3D elements to our sculptures. So like I said, the glue gun would be preferable to make sure those pieces are really stuck on, but if you don't have them, normal school glue will work or tape. Um, today during the class, like I said, we'll be adding on those 3D elements. Um, think of large details for these elements. Think of things like scales, ears, horns, claws, feathers, um, large textures um, are great things to add on. Don't think of small little details like eyelashes. We'll paint those on during the painting portion of this project once we've added on the paper mache layers at the end. Um, so it will be better to focus on larger details. Um, think about textures like I said. Um, we will cut those out using cardboard. So for my turtle bird, I wanted to go ahead, go ahead and add something that was semi-feather-like and semi-scale-like to keep going with the Alabrije theme of combining the two animals. So I went ahead and I cut out a bunch of textures. Um, I wanted to save myself a hassle and I um, cut out a whole bunch at one time before I added them on. Um, so when I cut these out, I did try to make sure that they were all pretty uniform. Um, I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any scraggly edges. Um, those are all things that will make it harder when you're adding on the paper mache layer of your project. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and heat up my hot glue gun. Like I said, hot glue guns are not required, but it is preferred just because the application of the cardboard to your Alabrije sculpture will be so much stronger. But if you don't have access to one, that's okay. You can use um, normal glue or tape. Um, so I have all my pieces cut out. I'm going to go ahead and lay out the pattern that I want to use. Um, I am... I did do a lot of research and I looked at pictures of sea turtles and I looked at pictures of hummingbirds and I tried to see the pattern and I'm trying to mimic that pattern um, in the cardboard. Um, so I'm laying out the pattern. Um, a little bit of the detail will be lost in the paper, but the overall shape you'll be able to see it and it'll be 3D on your piece. Um, and then that'll bring a lot of depth to your piece once we paint on top of it.
Um, you want to remember that as you're laying these down, you don't want to have any large pieces like sticking out or hanging out. Um, large gaps are going to be harder to cover with the paper mache product. Once you've completed adding on your 3D details, um, you can start the process of preparing your paper for actually adding on the paper mache layer to your piece. Congratulations, you're halfway there.